Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Weintraub from Christiana Care Health System in Delaware. I'm here today um, with my good friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Fred Edwards from the University of Florida, to discuss a very important study uh, of which we are both the, the, uh, the PIs. And this study is called ACERT, which stands for American College of Cardiology Society of Thoracic Surgeons Collaboration on the Comparative Effectiveness of Her Vascularization Strategies. <clears throat> this study is funded by a grand opportunity grant from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute of the National Institutes of Health. This is a two-year study to study revascularization strategies uh, um, comparing the comparative effectiveness of percutaneous coronary intervention with coronary artery bypass grafting. Now, this has been studied in many randomized trials over the last 15 to 20 years. However, the total number of patients in these trials is really very small, only about 8,000. We're going to study at least 10 times that many patients, at least 80,000 patients undergoing the two revascularization strategies. We also, also think that this is going to allow us to look at a more generalizable population than has ever been done in the, in the randomized trials, and also using more contemporary um, uh, <coughs> revascularization methods, both surgical methods and percutaneous methods. And once done, we'll be able to repeat this kind of study as our methods continue to improve in a way that's much more feasible than mounting additional randomized trials. I think this is really going to be a model for cardiovascular medicine and really for the country on how to do <coughs> comparative effectiveness studies using non-randomized data. For outcomes data, we are hooking both of these databases to the CMS, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services um, file, which will allow us to look at both survival and resource utilization, allowing us to look at both clinical outcomes and cost effectiveness. Now I'm going to ask Dr. Edwards to uh, describe the trial in a little more detail. Fred, tell us your thoughts. Well, I think the, the major goal of the trial is to, to help us optimize uh, the way we treat patients with, uh, with coronary insufficiency. And hopefully we're going to be able to, to gather enough information so that uh, we can actually tailor our therapy depending on the, the uh, specific clinical characteristics of a given patient population. You know, if we, we look at all those that need treatment of coronary artery disease today, you know, it, it's a spectrum. And at one end of the spectrum, we've got those patients that obviously should be treated with uh, percutaneous intervention. The other end of the spectrum, patients that obviously should be treated by surgery. But we've got this large group in the middle where the treatment uh, options are not so well defined. And so hopefully we're going to be able to focus on that group to help us better determine what patients should be treated by which modality. And maybe in the process, we can also take a look at the each extreme to find that patients we thought should be treated specific by one intervention or another perhaps might be treated by the opposite intervention. So that's, that, that's really um, a, a very good summary. Now, we're also going to do some modeling in, in uh, this trial. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're, we're going to use uh, propensity modeling in this trial. That's a bit different from what we've uh, traditionally done in, in cardiac surgery and, and what we have uh, done in cardiology as well. And by propensity modeling, we're talking about essentially a way to, to take observational uh, patients uh, and look at uh, ways to balance the risk associated with uh, different patient groups. Uh, we're not uh, looking so much at predicting the risk of a given event, the traditional way of doing this. We're trying to compare patients that have essentially equal degrees of severity of illness. And so the only difference between the patient groups that we compare with propensity scoring will be the treatment modality that was used. And that'll allow us to isolate that treatment modality to see which patients should be treated by what mechanism. Thank you. I want to tell you before we break about one important part of the study we're going to be looking at the syntax score in, in 2,000 patients in this, uh, in this study. This will allow us to validate the angiographic data that are in our databases. This has never been done before, and this is really a very great opportunity for all of us. Now, we need hospitals to sign up for this. 
you will see a slide that will tell you how you can contact the American College of Cardiology to participate in this important part of the, the, the study. We really look in a CERT for learning a great deal more about revascularization that's really going to be great for all practitioners in cardiovascular medicine and best for our patients.